Greetings friends and Robloxians, I'm in Starscape today to embark on an epic adventure of X structure hunting. This is one of my favorite Starscape activities. It is dangerous, and I've heard some players say it's not worth their time, but I think it's so much fun and exciting and I just wanted to share it with you. Now I've just warped into this new system in wild space and find myself just about on top of a bunch of drones. This one is a drone factory. I quickly get myself away from the thick of it. I I'm in my Stratos, the starter ship, because this type of adventure, if we get exploded, I don't worry about losing a valuable ship. I suggest you read the Starscape Wiki fandom site for a good in-depth description of X structures and for just about all info you might be curious about in this amazing game. X structures are ancient satellites. Most of them are wreckage in the midst of an asteroid field or belt around a planet. They are a great resource for materials such as ores and scraps. But for me, the most prized treasure is finding an intact satellite where you get an ancient beacon. We will see that a bit further into this video. The first thing to do to find an X structure is launch a probe and search all the planets in the solar system. Press N on the keyboard to look at the solar system map. On the left side are all the planets in the solar system. Click on each one to see a description of it on the right side of the map. I have not yet scanned this system with a probe, so I'm not getting all the available details yet. To exit this screen, press N again or X in the top right of the window. To launch the probe, press Ctrl on the keyboard to bring up this screen that allows you to choose what kind of probe to launch. Hold the left mouse button on the system probe to launch it. Once activated, a moment later, the solar system map pops open. And now you see the probe indicated by the tiny white dot that flashes or pulses yellow. The probe goes towards the direction of your mouse pointer. I find it best to cover the entire map making right angle turns, leaving a bit of gap between each sweep. Increase your beacon skill to make it faster and have a broader scope of sensitivity. We'll look at that skill in a moment. I like to scan all the planets as well as the space between them for any anomalies. You can see this system has two anomalies. If this said zero, then I would only scan the planets. For this adventure, the anomalies I hope to find are wormholes and monuments. Oh, and you can zoom in and out on the probe with the scroll wheel on your mouse or whatever function you use to scroll your pointer zoom. When scanning a planet, Pause the beacon's movement over the planet while it completes its analysis. If there's something there, it chimes pleasantly. If there's nothing around the planet, it makes a negative type sound. Uh -uh. When the probe is close to an anomaly, the pulse quickens and the trail goes from blue to green to yellow, and when right on it, it turns red. Here I see the trail was a bit green and yellow, so I investigate the area a bit more. Sometimes it's tricky to get right on it. There, we found an anomaly. And the last one. After the entire system is scanned, abandon the probe. Then, while still in this probe window, we can click on each planet and anomaly to get details about it. In this system, we found an asteroid field and a comet trail. Not anything I'm interested in for today. Looking at the planets, we want to find these question mark boxes described as planetary aberrations. This requires another investigative step. We'll warp to these planets with the question marks and then launch a system probe. Wow, this system had a ton of them. This is a rare yet random event to find so many. We can navigate to the planets in this window by pressing the box with the three arrows. As soon as I come out of warp, I'm once again in danger, this time right on top of a pirate den. So safety first. I quickly get away from the enemy before I can safely launch a planet probe. I press B to look behind me while in a fighter. Sure that no enemies are chasing me, I once again press the control key on my keyboard and this time the planet probe is available. This is only available when there's a planet aberration in orbit of the planet you're currently visiting. Hold down the mouse button to launch the probe. The planet probe is self-guided and will automatically scan all the aberrations, the question marks. This one is a ore deposit. 
Not anything I'm interested in today. Let's visit the next planet. Again, I come out of warp into danger, right next to another drone factory. So, make the evasive maneuvers to get out of there before I launch that planet probe. This planet has two aberrations. While the probe is flying, you can close that window and continue to control your ship if necessary. There are messages in the bottom right corner of the screen telling what things the probe has found. Just our luck, we have an X structure. Actually, we have two. Which one should we check first? Let's navigate to the first one and see what we find. This is a broken up space station. They have containers on them with the loot I was talking about. The best ones have puzzles, mazes, and added security measure to keep out bots. <laughs> I don't know, it's just for fun. It's important not to hurry through this. Three wrong turns and you get locked out. You can increase your system's bypass skills to give you more opportunities to complete these puzzles. Let's take a moment to look at those skills I was talking about. The skills window is found by opening your inventory and choosing the skills tab on the top here. Both probes and hacking crates fall under the exploration skills. You can increase the time, speed, and sensitivity of your probes. You can increase the time limit, shorten lockout time, and more in the hacking skill set. You get the skill points simply by discovering new systems, scanning anomalies and aberrations, and by hacking crates in the X structures. Make sure you read about skills by opening the inventory window and reading this. Click on the question mark for in-depth details. I'm speeding this up because in real time it's kind of slow. The reward for completing this puzzle is 142 scraps and 64 axnet. And each one of these X structures has three or four of these crates, maybe even six. I don't know if I found any with six, but the wiki page says so, so. Not all the crates are secured with puzzles. I did go around and get all of the ones here. Now let's go to the next X structure. Oh yeah, this is the one I was talking about before. The one I value most. It's an intact ancient satellite. It has one security bypass panel. Let's take a look for it. There it is. Come around the other way to get a better view. Completing this puzzle awards you with the Ancient Beacon, a strange beacon recovered from an intact relay satellite of ages past. Inspecting it reveals a curious but familiar inscription. Collect that. Now we have a computer message saying, Relay integrity compromised, initiating auto-destruct sequence. 10, 9, 8, uh oh, this thing's about to blow up. Let me back off so we can see this cool animation. The explosion would not hurt us, but I think it would be cooler if it did, like you had to evacuate quick or risk damage or even losing your ship. I don't know, just my opinion. With the ancient beacon in our inventory, we can inspect it. That reveals this little piece of star map indicating a location in the galaxy. I like to take a screenshot of the little beacon map and I keep that on top of the Starscape Galaxy map. I also choose the Spectral Class view as seen in the beacon map. Please let me know in the comments if you're a pro ancient beacon explorer and how you like to find systems where these ancient beacons are hidden. Now I go through the painstaking process of systematically inspecting the galaxy trying to find a match of the star constellation. 
This really is a puzzle. I have read a comment from another player on the wiki. They say it takes knowledge of quadratic equations. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I wonder if they were serious. But I just find them by looking for a match. This process takes me about five minutes. I find it a peaceful Carthacism after escaping so many drone and pirate forces. I found it on the galaxy map here. This ancient beacon treasure map pinpoints the Drexlo system. Clicking on set destination in the galaxy map, I see it's only 41 jumps away from my current location. It's practically on the other side of the galaxy. Now is where a wormhole would come in handy. Now I start the jumps. Each system I go through, I send out probes searching for wormholes. I did eventually find one, but to be honest, when I got within a few jumps of the beacon location, I got exploded by pirates just warping into a system that had Forelkin NPCs battling drones, and I warped right into their crossfire. Luckily, I had another beacon in my stored inventory, so I'm using that to show you the finale. You now see me in my heavily armored weaponized phalanx. Pro tip, when you find an ancient beacon, put it in your storage until you get close to your destination, and then maybe even be sure you're not warping through a battle zone to get there when you have the beacon in your on-hand inventory. Because in the wild and unsecured space, you're gonna lose stuff when you're exploded. It just happens. Upon arriving at the beacon's location, we get the message, destination reached, and then... This interesting message, relics of the past, your computer sounds an alarm tone to indicate that the fire suppression system has been activated in the cargo hold. Apparently, the ancient beacon you were carrying with you has vaporized. Upon further inspection, the beacon seems to have emitted a directional signal pulse just before self-destructing. Scans in that direction of space indicate the presence of a radiation source which would have been undetectable if you hadn't known exactly where to look for it. The coordinates of the anomalous reading have been added to your navigation computer. This means we have a secret location that only we can warp to, having had the beacon on us when we arrived at the beacon's map location. Without the beacon in our on-hand inventory, this location would never have been revealed to us. Now, let's check it out. We first warp to the planet that the X structure is at, and then we warp to the X structure itself. Of course I'd warp right into a pirate den. No time for these guys. Let's get right to the X structure. Here it is. I don't usually warp right on top of them. Now let's get back a ways to appreciate it in its intact glory. So cool looking. Oh yeah, there's ancient drones. They're here to defend the ancient satellite. They're merely pesky bugs compared to my frigate. I take my time checking out this structure. It has several secured chests attached to it. I speed through this first one and we're rewarded with Ancient Composite Armor, a spaceship upgrade which strengthens the armor rating of a ship. Cool. Since these pesky ancient drones have taken down my shields a bit, it's time to target them all with my point defenses. Some of the drones I explode give me an award of an ancient drone core and some power cells or some scraps. Now on to the remaining crates. The second crate awards me with Ancient HE Rounds, a weapon rig which increases damage dealt to target holes, and 1000 Reckonite. Very nice! The third crate awards me with Ancient Coil Gun and 1000 Jellium.
And the fourth gives me an ancient railgun and 1,000 metal scraps. I love it. I think that's all there is to it. Kinda would have liked this thing to have exploded after collecting all of its loot, or even if there were a time limit from the moment the drones are engaged to complete the battle and collect the loot before this ancient X structure self-destructs. But it's still pretty cool and so much fun to search out, not to mention get these rewards. That's a wrap for this episode of Starscape. Lost in Space! Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Your support is much appreciated. And please leave a comment. I would love to hear about your adventures in Starscape and any suggestions you might have for me and my gameplay. Thanks for watching. And remember, have fun and keep it imaginary. I think I'll go now and hunt down another ancient beacons X structure. Haha. <laughs>